This Kenyan child is operating a robot during his coding class. Pupils here are taught how to code and the concept of robotics. Rennie Sowino is the founder of Code with Kids. The organization provides affordable STEM, meaning science, technology, engineering and mathematics education to children from low-income areas such as Kibera, Nairobi's largest slum. Uh, most kids' programs in Nairobi uh, go for approximately 5,000 shillings, which is around $50. This is way out of the pocket for parents in Kibera. For us, Code with Kids, we bring the same programs to the kids in Kibera at affordable price of 50 shillings per session. Our parents are able to pay for these 50 shillings without feeling a strain, and the kids are able to learn. The initiative began in 2015 with 10 children and has so far reached over 2,000 children through collaborations with schools in after-school programs and coding boot camps. Learners have been able to develop new skills. Now the world is moving faster and everything is connected to technology. So it is important for me to do this so that I can be competent for my future. I, I like playing football, but when I started doing coding, it was very nice. I, I just said that let me leave football and come into coding, because coding helped me programming their own bots, and it, it is fun. When a child joins the program, they are first taught the basics of how a computer works before advancing to skills such as mobile application design and physical computing. The technology-based initiative aims to equip the children with coveted skills in the job market. It's been said that in the next 15 years, 75% of the jobs will be through technology. And once we expose our children, they are able to feel hopeful for the future because they are moving in the direction that the world of work is moving into. So by the time they are ready for work, they will be equipped and ready to go into the world of work with the right key skills that are needed for employability. The Code with Kids project is partly funded by parents and partly funded by charities. Rennie Sowino plans to look for internship placements and mentors for learners who graduate from the program. Children growing in Kibera are now the future of the Silicon Savannah.